Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. I saw everyone coming in, so I figured I would just go ahead and get started. So I hope everyone's having a good Friday. Thanks for coming to hang out with me. I see we have Christy in the house, and we have Michelle and Beth, my cohorts from the live sale this week, and Diana, Little Vintage Me 64, just popped in. Good morning, Diana. Guys, don't forget, you're more than welcome to, especially on these, like, just live chats and hauls. If you have your own YouTube channel you want to give props to in the chat, if you have any upcoming live sales you're doing or anything like that, please go ahead, feel free to pop your information into the chat and share with each other. I have no problem with that at all. Hey girl, hey. And my um, assistant just, let's see if I can get it. My assistant just climbed into the chair next to me. Can you see her? Of course. I cleared off the chair so I'd have room to set stuff and that's where Holly's gonna sit. So what I have for you today, I just wanted to hop on and say hi. You know, I like doing these Friday chats if I can. And I have just a little teeny tiny flea market haul for you. So I figured I'd fill the rest of the time with some uh, mail, like the things I bought from live sales that have been sitting for a month or two. And I really need to open to make sure everything's okay. And to let the people know who sent it to me that it's okay. Did I see Mickey came in? Hey, Mickey. That's okay, M Mickey. All righty, so let's just get going and right in here. So at the flea market, I got one, two, three, four, like six items. So we'll just dive into those first. So, so the first thing I found was this cute set. It's like a little, it's pink depression glass. It's cut glass and it's a cream and sugar set. Now this may have needed a lid, but I just think that this would be cute to hold toothpicks or an air plant or even little sugar packets. There is a little chipping here and there to the, um, cause it's that cut textured. So I picked those up and these will definitely pop up in a live sale. I'll hold on to these for a live sale for you guys or if someone's interested in them beforehand, you can email me as usual. Yeah, that's what I thought. And they just had a really nice, just the way the light hits the cut glass, I thought made them really pretty. Thanks so much, Michelle, for sharing the channel, uh, Diana's channel. Hey, Teresa, welcome. So that was the first item I picked up. And then I typically pick these up when I see them. Now, these are knockoffs. And when I list them, I will note that they are knockoffs, but people sometimes like them. There is a set, there is, there's a designer who designed these and there's a silver plated type that's out there and it's called a Starburst Coaster. So this is glass and this is just like a silver tint because it is chipping a little, but mid-century modern people love these. I've sold them before. I just make sure I note that these are not the original because the silver is pitting. So I forget what that what type that is called, but it is not the silver plated. It's not, doesn't have the designer mark on it, but people still like these. And a set of these will go for um, 10 to $12. If you see these, these are good to pick up. Cause especially if people have mid-century modern decor, they still like these glass. They were probably ashtrays, but people are using them for coasters as well. And now Chappie's over here eyeballing me cause I'm live. Then I grab these and of course it's the thing that happens that you grab something and you get home and you're like, oh, there's damage. There's always something. And guys, I'm like 19 away from a thousand. So if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love if you consider subscribing. I plan to have a lot more shop with me videos this year. I try to do uh, some live haul pop-ups at least twice a month, two live sales a month and, um, I plan to do them with other YouTubers. So uh, I have good morning, Lori. So coming up on February 9th, I will be having a live sale with Lori Blue Flamingo Mercantile at 5 p.m. Eastern on my channel. And then I think it's it's the last Tuesday in February. I forget the date. Oh my vintage, Kim, oh my vintage will be joining me on the channel for a live sale. So I have no storage unit sales in February, guys. I'm just easing back a tiny bit because it's a shorter month but I am doing two live sales. Sorry, Chappie's getting into trouble. I know that that's shocking. 
Yeah, that's true, Beth. These are good because they're rigid and you're, it doesn't tip. And the embossing is on the bottom, so it's a nice, smooth surface. Thank you, Diana. I know I'm getting so close. Okay, so then I picked these up. And these remind me of like whole pieces or Roseville, but I don't think they are. I think they're like a home piece. I don't know, just something about the base. I don't think they're super old, but I thought wouldn't these be cute for like, here, in like a St. Patrick's Day display. But then I noticed when I got this one home, can you guys see it? It's been repaired. So now I'm not really sure what to do if I should still offer the set, but note that this one has been repaired or if I should just try to sell the one. But I think, you know, like I didn't notice this damage at first because it's not very visible on the top. Like it's, it's just when you get to the bottom, you start to notice it. But I just thought that these were really, really cute, you know, for St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, I could totally touch that up, Beth. And it does, it just has a little bit of the um, the yellow coming through. And it's kind of got like, it definitely was glazed. I just don't know age on this because it's so shiny on the bottom. And I'm used to the older pieces not having the gloss on the bottom, but I just thought they were really unique. Yeah, just put them, and I got them for, luckily for a good price that like, you know, I could even price those at like, eight to ten dollars you know good morning kim welcome welcome so kim you missed the depression glass so i'll reshow this one for you real quick i picked up a cute little cream and sugar set i love the way the light hits them and i'm glad i have good light this morning You hear that? That's chappy. Every time. And then this just dawned on me. So I bought this because I thought it was a really cool. Hold on just one second. I picked up the food dish just for while I'm doing the video because he will go to town the whole time. <laughs> um, so this next thing, I was walking into the shop and I just thought it's made by Union. I just thought it was a really cool metal box. I like the look of it. I like the size of it. It's Union brand. It's got a little handle and it doesn't have an insert, but it was clean on the inside. But it just dawned on me. I don't have much um, for St. Patrick's Day. I could totally use this as my little St. Patrick's Day vignette because it's green and filled up like with books and stuff on the inside. <laughs> Michelle, <laughs> you're funny. That's an inside joke, guys. And I mean, it's got that great wear where you know someone had it and it's got just a little bit of rusting on it. So I think you do, you do, Diana. Yeah, because I really, I only, I don't even think I have like two or three things for St. Patrick's Day. So maybe I'll just use this with, with some books because I have a ton of Easter. So I'm thinking I might do a little St. Patrick's Day in that corner and then the rest of this will be Easter. So I don't have to take it down till the summer. Oh, Chappie's going to come live with Auntie Lori. Oh, is my mom on? Hi, mom. Yes, your grandcats are causing problems as always. I was reading all the comments. Ooh, yellow pansies. I'm just going to go to Beth for all my decorating tips. So that was that part of the flea market, a little bit, just a little bit of some stuff I had left over from the flea market. Then, okay, guys, if you are out and you see these, definitely pick them up. So these are made by ARC and they are a French company or I believe they're made in France. It's ARC and they're vintage canning jars. And I was so excited when I saw these on the person's table. I need to give them a bath though. So 
let me see. All right, so here's the first one. This is a two liter. And I wanna kind of show you the top so you can recognize it. It has a little archer and it says arc. And sometimes it doesn't have that. Like the writing says, Nivu, uh, I don't know, Nivu de Remplissage. I don't know what that means, but it's a two liter and it has, but I have bought these before and the big ones can go for 12 to 16. I've seen some even go for 20 for just the two liter big one. What is Michelle doing? <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> oh gosh, Beth, causing trouble. So I was really excited because I'd never seen the strawberry pattern of these before. So if you see these guys, they come in different sizes. Now, I believe these all have, I have six jars to show you. I think they all have their original seal, but the seal does look like it might have a little mold and age to it. So luckily I have a bunch of replacement ones I got on Amazon. So what I'll do when I list these is I'm gonna note the condition of the seal and I'm gonna throw in a replacement one just in case, because if someone wants to use this strictly for decoration, the seal won't matter to them, but if they're going to use it for canning, I prefer they have a new seal. So I'm going to add that as an option. So here's the first one, and it's strawberry, and that's a two liter. So I got that one, and then I was excited because they had a second two liter in the strawberry. It's French. It's not hand-painted. It's a transfer. So these arc canning jars are made in France, and they do have the little arc France on it and they're vintage canning jars and they have the strawberry pattern, a vegetable pattern, there's floral patterns and I always find these do well. I actually have a set, I'm going to show you what I found, but I have a set of the, it's called the vegetable pattern. I have the two liter 1.5 and the two small ones in my unit. I actually need to get listed because a set of four together can go for 35 to $50 range. And those I had put all new seals on. So now I have two of the two liters. So I'm going to sell all these. I'm going to piece out on my eBay and Etsy. So I'm not going to sell them as a set. So I got those two. And then, so those are the two liters. And then there are one liters. I was not able to find the strawberry in the one liter, but this is their vegetable pattern. That is also very popular because of the mushrooms. And again, it says arc on the lid. Some of them do not. Some of them will say right here, like, oh, there you go. It'll just say made in France. So the other one did not have that. This one does. And like I said, all these need a bath, but someone definitely used them. So I actually just realized, okay. So I got the two liter, the 1.5 liter in the strawberry, and I got the three quarter liter in the strawberry. Bolo item. Hello, Judy. Thank you for joining. That was so sweet of Dee. Welcome. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. B uh oh, thank you. I was like, buy one, bolo, buy one. Yeah, so these are great. Be on the lookout because I actually find them at my goodwill. Like the like this pattern has popped up a couple of times for me at the goodwill. So, all right. So we've got two of the two liter strawberry, the 1.5, and we've got the baby. So yeah, look up ARC, A-R-C, France canning jars and familiarize yourself with the patterns because some of them can do well, especially with the strawberries being popular. So this is the one, the vegetable pattern. I actually already have a full set of four, but my fourth one, so the fourth one in the set will typically have like a, a screw on lid or the one I have is missing this. So I'm on the hunt for one of those and I will sometimes hold on to them until I have a set. Now guys, all six of these jars I got for $3. So I got them. D is Thrill the Thrift, Christy. If you don't know D, right? Right, guys? Thrill the Thrift. She's awesome. You got to subscribe to her channel if you're not subscribed. 
Yeah, so these, and they're probably, I don't know if they're like something from the 60s and 70s, but they are French, so they're heavy duty glass and they're made for canning. So they are food safe, but like these have been sitting in someone's like pantry thing. So that was pretty much it for the flea market portion. Yeah, I know. So I got those for 50 cents each and the girl actually had a whole box of the canning jars and I did go through it and there were some that I just, it had like the winter scene pattern and I have one of those right now that has not sold. So I left those. She was going to give me the whole box for $5 and I just, I couldn't, you know, carry that. Oh, okay, Christy. Okay, so that was my little mini flea marker haul. And like I said, guys, if you're ever missing the canning jar uh, seals, you can get a pack like this on Amazon. Just type in like 2L canning jar. Two, I'm sorry, Chappies. Chappies, my cat, for those who have not watched the channel before, and he's up in his perch threatening to jump onto the table. But these are great to keep on hand for if you get a jar. And like I said, I'll tell people, you know, some of those are a little rusty crusty and I'll send an extra because I want my customer to be happy. So now we're gonna go and just open a little bit of live sale mail, things I've bought and I haven't gotten to yet. So this first one is from my girl Beth at Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties. Yeah, Binks and Training, pretty much. So I'm gonna... Get all the paper out. Beth, everything feels like it came okay. I know you were sweating it a little bit. Aw. Is there a little extra in here, girl? Are you a little extra today? Aw. There's a little Valentine in here. Beth, do you want me to open this on here, or do you, is that something I should open separate? And Beth sends her little cute packet with her little goodies in it. And if you guys don't know who Beth is, Beth is Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretty. She's here in the chat and she does have her own channel. So be sure to check her out and subscribe. And uh, yeah, oh, and for those just joining, if you have a YouTube channel, please feel free to share it in the chat. Um, if you need one of the admins to help you share the link, they can do that. If you have any upcoming live sales, please go ahead, feel free to share. Beth, Beth, was that a yes, I can open it on here, or yes, save it? <laughs> Blonde, Beth, you got to, you know. All right. Well, her packages were wrapped really cute, so I'm going to go ahead and get them open. Okay, okay. Thank you, girl. Just my little... Whoop. I have a little box. I'm catching all the papers and stuff in. So y'all just keep chatting and sharing your channels while I try to, let's see if Beth is the queen of bubble wrap, like Michelle is. Michelle, it's your favorite sound coming up, it's bubble wrap. So in Florida, it was 81 degrees on Wednesday. And this morning it is 40. So we went from 81 to 40 within two days. I need to get better scissors. I'm just cutting open the bubble wrap so I can quickly open and show you guys the packages. No, that's Michelle. And there's also, if you guys are into Valentine's Day, yeah, 81 to 40, Christy. Isn't that insane? If you guys are into Valentine's Day, Beth, what is her, my blessed... Neff, my blessed nest is hosting a um, Valentine's Day tiered tray collaboration challenge. So if you're not checked out her channel, be sure to check that out. And I think that is going to be going live on the third. I know a group of us are already planning to participate in that. Carol, thank you. 18, what is it in, what did I miss? 16. Well, I thought when I moved from New York that it would be, you know, warmer. Oh, it's so cute, Beth. 
it's funny because it looked bigger on the screen and I was like, oh no, where am I going to put it? But okay, it was why do I think I bought a donkey Beth? Look, guys. No, now I remember I did buy a skunk because I asked Michelle if she wanted it first before I went for it. So I collect small redware pieces and I've been mainly collecting cats, but I do have a set of redware whales and a set of redware alligators to say Florida. So then I saw this guy and I thought he was really cute. I remember now, Beth, it was just, I was having a brain moment. Look how cute he is. So this is for my personal collection. And then guys, I also collect New York, vintage New York stuff because I'm from New York originally. And Beth had this, and I'm also an artist and my husband's an artist and a graphic designer. Hey, Judy, welcome. So Beth had this cute ashtray from Utica, New York. It was probably from like a restaurant or hotel or, or oh, it was an interior decorating store. And I thought it was cute because it was, and it was when they had the older phone numbers too. So I snagged that as well for my New York collection. So super cute. I love those Beth and they came in perfect condition. So I'm going to have to borrow your, uh, your thrifting tips. And I love that Beth wrapped my Valentine's look my, for those of you who are new to my channel, by the way, I am Christine and I have two rescue cats, Holly and Chappie. They're black and white tuxedos and they often make appearances here because they cause trouble. So it's cute that she used the black and white paper. 12 people watching. Thank you guys. Come on, fingers. Oh, Beth, you are so funny. <laughs> All right, every girl needs this. Vintage maxi pads. You know, that would actually be cute in a Valentine's Day vignette with the pinks if you just kind of hide the maxi part. Good morning, Miss Bev. Welcome. I know. So I think Beth got these from Patrick, trusty huckster mercantile, because he went to an estate sale and bought a box of like a hundred of these for some reason. And he's been slowly selling them off. So they are packages made from recycled materials. But yeah, that's just funny. That's going to be like, yeah, that's hysterical. Thank you, Beth. You're so funny, girl. Okay. So my next items mm -hmm. come from Debbie of Our Vagabond Travels. If you don't follow Debbie, she's new on YouTube and her and her husband travel the country in an RV and she does live sales from the road and hauls from the road. And it's really cool to watch her. Make sure if you're typing in her name, you put it all together, Our Vagabond Travels, because there is there are a few other channels who have similar names and you won't see hers unless you compress the whole thing. And all the information for Beth and Debbie are down below in my comment section. I'm just going to put right here. You guys know the name. I'm going to put it into the chat. It's so funny that those maxi pads are like going out to everyone. So I actually bought this from Debbie's first live sale. So that's how old this is. This goes back to like December 12th. So let me just prop up a box here. Beth, I'm still laughing about the maxi pad. I think that is so cute. So she did, she always wraps things super nice. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Michelle, for putting that in there for me. I'm just getting the bubble wrap out. And I know I bought several items from her and some I were really, I was really excited for. So it looks like I have four, four items here. So that shouldn't be too bad to open. And I think I even have a kitty statue in there somewhere. Oh, good. I'm so glad you all are sharing each other's information on there. I really appreciate that. So Debbie did send a little, just some cute little, now see, I should have opened this before Christmas, but there's some cute tags. And then there's her info. You see how it's all one word? 
and holiday eggnog, and then a little gift card. So that was cute. <clears throat> Put those back. I saw my name, what'd I do? Read the balance. Aw, I missed it on there. Thank you. This one? To Christine, Valentine, you're sweet, and I heart you to the max. Was that the right one? Am I missing something? I hope I didn't toss something out. I didn't realize. Oh. Heart you to the max maxi pads. Thank you, Beth, because, you know, and Michelle, because I need that explained to me. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And I thought, yeah, my mom's gonna be watching saying, yep, she's our blonde child. All right, so let me dig into these. And thank y'all for hanging out with me this morning. I really appreciate it. So the first item I had got from her, and some of these I probably will end up reselling. Um, but the first thing I got from her is this super cute little airbrush pig planter. Oh, that would have been so cute with my, this will be, I might use this in my Easter decor, I'm thinking, because I like the airbrush of it, and it's little, it's itty bitty, but that is super cute. Yeah, that might have to go in my Easter decor. I've got a thing about airbrush. I really like airbrush. What am I missing? Oh, Judy, are you missing the chat? So off to the right, there should be a box that says live chat or top chat. On your phone. Let me see if I can find it for you, Judy. Sorry, guys. We want to make sure Judy can see what's going on. So, but see, Judy, when I pull it up, the live chat automatically is showing underneath the video if you're in the video. And if you click this guy, it lets you know that you're in live chat. Oh, sorry. Okay. Y'all, I'll let y'all help her. I'm going to keep going. Hi, Gritty. Welcome. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot I got this. I picked up a little uranium glass juicer. This one's super cute. I can use this for St. Patrick's Day with my green box that I got. And you guys just joining, I have got this box at the flea market. So I'm going to use it as part of my St. Patrick's Day vignette. So I'll use that with that. And that was smaller than I thought it was going to be, which is good, because that means I can use it in a little vignette. So welcome everyone just joining. If you've come over from other channels, if D sent you, thank you so much. I'm Christine of Side Street Market. I'm a part-time reseller and I love vintage and I do thrift hauls, shop with me's, live sales, storage unit sales, which are pre-recorded sales. Hey, Miss Dan Jewelry, welcome. Um you want me to show how to expand the description box? So if, you're, if your thing looks like this, hit this X, okay? And then there's an arrow right here. If you tap that arrow in the corner, it's going to give you the description. And then the info's underneath it. Was that what you needed?
Okay, I have two more items. And I'll probably be done by a little after 10.30, guys, just because I am on my lunch hour right now. Oh, I remember this one I got. Oh, this was really pretty. I could use this with my Valentine's Day, too. So I have a thing about airbrush animals. Look at this beautiful airbrush cat. And it'll go really pretty with, I got that, hold on, that cat, white cat planter from Michelle at Noon's Cupboard. And I have two little airbrush salt and pepper shakers, which are actually right there that this will all go well with. And I may put them all in my cupboard for a spring display, right? Look at that blue eye shout. Let me tell you, middle school, high school, into my 20s. I rocked the neon blue eyeshadow with black eyeliner. It wasn't until my late 20s, early 30s, I started using the brown eyeshadow. But yeah, she's just a really beautiful piece. I like her a lot. Oh, so much bubble wrap. I love it. Us resellers love it. She's on. I wouldn't know, Michelle. My nieces and nephews don't think I'm cool anymore, that I don't know the lingo. They're at that 16, 17, 18 age. Oh, yes, this was a very cool. Debbie at Our Bag Mom Travels always has really unique, cool stuff in her live sales. But, um, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to keep this or, or resell this, guys, yet, because I'm not sure how I would use it. But it's a really cool, I'm sorry, there's going to be, Michelle, how do you say it? Crinkle alert on your channel? Crinkle alert. I'm so glad everyone could join me this morning. I hope you've had a good week and it's not been too hectic. I'm looking forward to my weekend. I'm meeting up with Lori of Blue Flamingo Mercantile tomorrow. We're going to go to the flea market and we're going to film our trip to the flea market. So you'll see a shop with me on that. But... Oh. Magic. All right, this is wrapped really well, guys. So this is a possible, it's a it's a Delft Blue inspired, but it's a frog base. Check this guy out. Imagine that on the center of your table with some beautiful flowers coming out of it for spring. I really like this one. I actually have a rabbit in my Etsy shop right now. It's made in China ceramics, but it has this same blue pattern on it. Crinkle alert. Did I miss Dolores? Or is Dolores Miss Jewelry? I know. I loved the blue eyeshadow. And I had blue eyes and everyone was like, you shouldn't wear eyeshadow the same color as your eyes. And unfortunately, I can't wear purple eyeshadow because I'm allergic to it for some reason. Something in it. I know. Isn't this, isn't this everything, Michelle? pansies you know i don't know if it's originally a water pitcher it might be but it only has the one i guess you could fill it and then just pour it i just really like the look of it i don't know what i'm going to do with it yet but i had to have it so i got it and i like that like you can see the legs are like they look like hand painted you see that? And it's three-dimensional where the legs are. So yeah, that was just beautiful. Gurgle jug? I've never heard of that. All right, guys, I have one last box for you. And this also is from Our Vagabond Travels. It's from Debbie. You know what, Kim? I. It's the purple powder I've tried, and I've tried purple eyeliner. And I've not tried anything else because when it comes to my eyes, I just get nervous. Uh-oh. Mom, if you want it, I'll give it to you. I'll just make a pile for Mother's Day. How's that? I'll just let you go shopping in my storage unit and we'll call it even. Okay, this one had lots of styrofoam in it. Oops, I dropped the package. <laughs> oh, did I buy more than one thing? Oh, I have Easter decor in here. Well, I'm glad I opened this. 
Oh, that's cool. So a gurgle jug, it makes a gurgle sound when you um, pour out of it. That's different. Okay. So another beautiful package from Debbie of all her little, little fun bits. So guys, if you're liking this little mini haul and just this hangout with me Friday and chat, please remember to hit that thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. I am trying to get to a thousand. I have a giveaway. If you've not watched that video, I try to move it to the front. If you watch it and comment, I'm giving away uranium glass when I hit a thousand subscribers. Oh, now my mom says she doesn't want it. <laughs> Michelle, you're so funny, girl. So I got this to use in my Easter decor because I thought it would be really cute. It's a little, I thought I could stuff it with something or even flip it upside down. It's just a little um, kid's soup bowl with rabbits on it. And the rabbit, Mr. McGregor, ran after Peter waving. I remember reading, I think this is Peter Rabbit. I remember reading this at my grandmother's house as a child. She used to keep certain books there. And I think I remember reading this book. So this is going to go in my Easter decor. I'll figure a way to kind of fill it so I can use it for staging. Or I may just flip it. I don't know. So I picked up that. Oh, yeah. No worries, Michelle. Why were you guys trying to tag Lori? She might she might just be hopping. She might be watching Misty's thing going on and just hopping back and forth. Or she may have had to run an errand. You know what? I am on the hunt for some vintage bunny stuffed animals. Like the ones that look like, you know, like Misty picks up that have been like beat up and had a better life. So I'm on my last items in the haul, guys. It's been a fun half hour with you so far. Thank you all for coming again. I made a giant mess. So the final items I picked up from Debbie are actually these, and they are the Mary Mushroom Salt and Pepper Shakers. And I got these because I have the Mary Mushroom napkin, napkin holder. So I will probably scrub these up good and actually use them to go with the napkin holder in my um, decor. Aw. Well, I'll let her know you were all wishing her to have fun this weekend. I think Lori may actually be filming her first shop with me for her YouTube channel while we're there. I'm going to try to help her work on that. But that's it, guys. This was the haul. And I may just, for those who are rejoining or just joining, join late. When I went to the flea market, I picked up some pink depression glass. And I just really loved the way the light hit. I thought these would be, like, this is probably missing the lid. But I thought it would still be cute for sugar packets or a succulent. Just with that pretty pink. And I got some of these, which are, these are faux silver. These are the knockoff of the silver plated ones, but they're a great mid-century Starburst pattern and people still buy these. So I just know that they are not the original, that they are the replicas and people still like to purchase those. So that's a good thing to look for. Um, I got a whole bunch of arc canning jars in both mushroom and strawberry pattern and I was saying that the Arc France canning jars are really good to be on the lookout for and I think that was it thank you yeah it was it was a fun little haul so I'm glad I got to spend some time with you guys I'm gonna go ahead and sign off here now because I've got to get back to my day job because this was my lunch hour so it's always fun hanging out with you. I hope everyone has a wonderful and safe weekend. I do have an antique mall shop with me coming out tomorrow, so you'll see that. And I do not have any sales next week. I've had sales the past three weeks, so I'm kind of just taking a breather. But like I said, on the 9th, I will be doing a live sale with Lori Blue Flamingo on here. And the last Tuesday of the month, Kim from All My Vintage will be joining me for another live sale. So stay tuned, guys. Have a great weekend. I'll see you all soon.